speed. The revenue sharing from manga platforms can significantly empower creators, especially manga artists. Now, let's move on to an important topic. If you find yourself with limited capital due to insufficient investment, consider the option of offering adult manga content. Not fully erotic content, but something mildly erotic, you know what I mean? This approach can be commercially viable, whether your target audience is male or female. There are numerous examples of suggestive manga content achieving significant success in the market. If you're unable to produce a large number of serialized titles or sustain substantial investment until a major breakthrough, consider introducing slightly suggestive elements in your series. You might be surprised by how many readers are willing to pay for such content. It's not excessively erotic, but it does encourage readers to return and make paid transactions consistently. This approach can be particularly advantageous when starting a manga business. Now, if you're wondering how to handle adult-rate manga, it's possible if your country's laws permit it. It's necessary. While adult content might be necessary for your business, it's advisable to manage it under a separate entity, perhaps with an independent brand. It's crucial to stay within the legal boundaries of your country when dealing with explicit content. For platforms offering adult-rated or 19-plus manga, a key factor is providing creators with a higher revenue share compared to general manga. Even though the page rate is a bit low, the revenue share from paid services is high. For adult manga content, it's better to minimize investment while maximizing revenue sharing. This approach can yield numerous positive effects. Another critical aspect is the importance of manga education, especially for the emergence of new manga industries worldwide. Training and nurturing new talent is essential. Providing excellent education not only helps create great manga, but also encourages the development of diverse genres. Supporting artists in their professional journey and offering guidance is crucial, particularly in markets where the manga industry is just emerging with limited accumulated experience or knowledge from predecessors. Minimizing common mistakes and missteps from the beginning is vital, and that's why education is so important. Education should go beyond teaching how to create entertaining and high-quality manga. It should focus on fostering a diverse array of manga and ensuring that many creators can sustain their livelihoods through their work. It's about guiding artists so that their work can be published, chosen by readers, and purchased based on informed decisions. Significant investment is needed to cultivate well-trained artists and writers. The initial manga platforms in each country should, of course, review and select submissions from aspiring manga artists. However, in some cases, editorial department must proactively develop and suggest projects to creators. There are three main reasons for this. First, to build a strong and vibrant market in the country. Second, to foster a rich and diverse manga industry. Simply selecting from submissions might not lead to the desired diversity in genres and themes. Manga editorial departments need to intentionally guide and create this diversity. It's crucial not to leave the industry's growth entirely to business ecosystem. The involvement of skilled editors is necessary for the market's development. Third, without careful planning, platforms might become overly reliant on selling adult or erotic content, which could limit further diversification. I've seen a promising digital manhwa media outlet in South Korea fall into this pattern. While slightly suggestive manga might be successful in the early stages of a business, it's important for editorial teams to intervene strategically to ensure the emergence of a wide range of serialized works and a flourishing manga industry in the long term. If you aspire to see the birth of iconic shonen manga in your country, or if you wish to establish a weekly shonen manga magazine like Shonen Jump, an editorial department is essential. The quality of the editorial team will significantly impact the success of shonen manga. Here is the tricky part. The quality of the editorial department is crucial. If you want iconic shonen manga to emerge and succeed in your country, the skills of the manga editors and the editorial department are incredibly important. However, no editorial department will admit that their failure was due to their incompetence if they intervene and the work fails. They might blame it on the lack of talent among local artists saying, We are not shown in jump, and our local artists just aren't skilled enough. In reality, no one is going to acknowledge 
that the editorial team failed because they weren't on par with the Shonen Jump editors. If your country values freedom of expression and speech, take full advantage of it. Manga thrives on freedom of expression, especially in its growth stages. Even if your country restricts freedom of expression for some reason, such as a governmental censorship, but don't be discouraged. Create as much as you can within those limits. There are always ways to work around challenges. But if you live in a society where you can freely express what you want to draw and write on paper or screen, then by all means, pour your thoughts and words into your manga. Freedom of expression acts like a powerful booster for a rocket, propelling it into space. It's incredibly important for manga. While a market can grow even without complete freedom of expression, if you do have it, use it to its fullest. This freedom, along with artistic and creative freedom, is vital for the industry. The concept of freedom of expression is complex, and just because it exists in your country doesn't mean it applies equally to the manga industry. On the other hand, even in conservative societies, manga might enjoy unexpected freedom. Yeah, right. Like that's ever going to happen. The relationship between a country's general freedom of expression and manga's freedom is not simple. However, providing extensive freedom in creative expression is beneficial. If a government is committed to developing its cultural industry, it must allow aspiring manga artists and creators to enjoy freedom of expression. This is crucial for growth. Lastly, if you have sufficient investment or support for developing the manga industry, consider setting up an office or a studio in Japan. There are many advantages to establishing a presence there. It's not a huge expense, but it offers numerous opportunities. I highly recommend it from both a business and learning perspective. That's all for my suggestions. I know they may not be perfect, but I hope you find them helpful. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'm Boichi, a mangaka and YouTuber. Thank you for watching.